Welcome back to WITN End Zone. The Coastal 3A ranks are wide open this year with White Oak leading the way at 4-1 and one, and four other schools coming into the week at 3-2 and two overall. So we had to check them out. Croatan, one of those teams, they were facing conference leading White Oak in Jacksonville. White Oak was trying to get on the board early in this one, but a bad snap leads to an interception on their field goal attempt, and the Cougars failed to convert, and they turned it over into points. Next drive for the Vikings went differently, though. Taravian Maggio is taking the handoff and he's going to the house. White Oak would lead 7 to nothing in the game. Later on in the second quarter, the Vikings would get a field goal, extending their lead to 10, and they would pull away from there to win it 49 to nothing at home. They'll be on the road at West Carteret next Friday. Staying in the conference, Richlands, another 3-2 and two squad in the coast of 3A, facing winless Swansboro, but it was a battle. The Wildcats would open up the scoring in the third quarter as quarterback Caleb Simcoe keeps it and finds the end zone. They would botch the extra point attempt, and Simcoe is going to find it, and then he runs it in for a two-point conversion instead. So Richlands now up 21 to nothing. There's 21 to 7, I believe, and the, their student section was hyped up. Third quarter coming now. Simcoe dropping. Makai Mack somehow makes the grab in the end zone. They call it a touchdown, and what a grab to get the foot down. Richlands comes away with the 28 7 victory in the end tonight. Nash Central looking like a tough force in 2A again this fall, trying to keep the pace in the conference against Rocky Mount. The hometown Bulldogs off to a good start. Their own 40, a toss to Winston Lee, caught by D'Angelo Johnson. Then the Griffons, they, they move to the right, and he's going to get some more yards. Isaiah Finkley, and then James Rogers rolls in, and he gets the touchdown. So there's the touchdown for Central 7-zip. Griffons, Isaiah Silver would get them some redemption as he's going to take a big run back all the way to the house. That made it 7-7, but Nash Central continues their strong season in the end with a 28-10 win, and that's a nice one. One of the forces in 2A East this year, and we haven't showed him enough, is Clinton, the dark horse, is playing at West Bladen. They're undefeated. Amaris Williams, 20 yards on the run, but gets credit for only four, and the dark horses were up 6-0. After another Clinton touchdown, the Knights' first play on offense, whoops, Amari White can't handle the handoff scoop and score. Brought to you by Corin Blackwell. It was 20-6. They scored 64 points in the first half. 71-13 Clinton. 6-0, look out for those boys. Back into the 2A Eastern Plains, 5-1 Farmville Central Plain, 2-3 Washington. The Jags coming out of the half, pinned deep in their own territory until junior Elijah Abel breaks this one out, and look at him go. He ain't going to be touched. He gone. Farmville ahead 25-8 in the third. The Jags not letting up. They go for the onside kick. It bounces, and they recover the ball. They're Looking to make a statement, Landon Barnes firing deep bomb. Omari Phillips, you getting looked at by some D1 schools. 38 to 8 in the fourth quarter. They put the nail in it as they win number six this year. Jags, 38 to 8. Staying in the 2A Eastern Plains, Aiden Grifton playing at Green Central. No scoring in the first quarter. In the second, the Rams drove to the goal line, but the Chargers get a stand. Rashad Savage there on the play, and they would turn it over on downs. And he's like, where's this offense? Let's get going. Chargers drive the field as Ashton Watkins connects with Rashim Johnson. He's taken down inside the five, and they would reward Johnson for the effort with the short touchdown run. And it was 7-0 AG. The Rams would get a big stop in the end zone at the end of the half. A pick by Michael Suggs Jr. Apparently it fired him up because it was 7-0 AG at the half. But Green Central wins 27-14. Congrats to the Rams on a big win. The Fossil Bowl on the line tonight, Pamlico County at Southside battled with each other, seeking their first win. The visiting Hurricanes quickly on the board, a touchdown run by senior Jaden Williams. The extra point was blocked, so it was 6-0 Pamlico, but the Seahawks quickly responded. A lot of scoring in this one. Taquan Moore finishing off the run. Look at the cut. He gets a nice selly at the end of this, too. It was 7-6 Southside. They don't look back as they go on to a big win. 54-20 Southside wins the Fossil Bowl. And some great plays made out there week seven. So let's take a look at the top plays we got while we were out there tonight. Newburn bouncing back, a homecoming win, but Ivy on Smith, couple picks, and the one hand pick. He did not take that one for six, but he would later. So a big play for the Bears tonight. We got a few touchdown passes. Check out Malachi Keys going up over the defender for the touchdown grab. Rose's homecoming win. And Richlands, Caleb Simcoe dropping it to Makai Mack. 
you just love that one. You got to take another look at that one. They ruled it a touchdown, so we say play of the week as Mac with the touchdown.